theory, I think, especially in its post-structuralist uh, iteration, is the single most dangerous thing to uh, theology and to uh, Abrahamic metaphysics. So if you disenchant the world, you would expect both of those things, Makes scientism sense. and postmodernism or post-structuralism. I think so, because science has largely, if we look in our country about 80%, I don't know the exact figures, but a large number of our scientists are actively engaged in the military industrial complex. And so science, in some ways, scientists have prostituted themselves to the, uh, the temptations of serving power to put this in a, in a uh, critical theory way of looking at, at the world. And, 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 and I think, for instance, I don't think anybody with true faith could ever invent the napalm bomb. I just don't believe that. I think if they had an ounce of ethical uh, character, they just could not come up with a bomb that burnt people. And, and one, one of the most terrifying things to me is that when the Viet Cong began to uh, build large ponds uh, in the middle of their villages, so when the napalm came, they would run and jump in the water. A scientist here developed waterproof napalm uh, as a way of s preventing that from happening. And so I think a lot of what has happened in our lifetime, the 20th century has been one of the, uh, it, it actually has been the bloodiest century in human history. Wars fought on ideological grounds, uh, but having very little to do with religion unless you define religion as ideology. Um, Which is what Christopher Hitchens tried exactly, to do. Exactly, I think they all try to do that, and I don't think it's really fair to uh, religion. Um, I mean, human beings have obviously ways of um, understanding the world, and these these uh, modern ideas, certainly materialism and Marxism, have been very appealing to large numbers of people and mostly to people that have been oppressed. One of the things I find really fascinating in Marxism is the quote that religion is the opiate of the masses. Like this is, this is Marx's great mm -hmm. statement of religion, but it's never quoted in its entirety because what he said was religion is the sigh of the oppressed. It's the heart of a heartless world. It's the soul of a soulless place. It is the opiate Open of the masses. masses. In other words, it's a way of numbing the pain of the world. Now, what, what our modern world has done, it has removed religion to fulfill the function of a actually healthy opiate, and it's replaced it with a, a real yeah. opium. We have a huge opioid crisis right now in this country. People are numbing themselves to the pain of the world because they have lost spiritual grounding in what the world is and what it has always been. I, don't, I think one of the myths of the modern world somehow is that um, I think the whole idea of progress and this idea that human beings can transcend their nature, and now we've got transhumanism, which is, is really they're giving us a utopian, a technological utopia. They're going to remove all of these problems with being human through this transhumanistic adventure. And they're spending billions of dollars. This is not a joke. They're spending billions of dollars on this. And this is something C.S. Lewis in The Abolition of Man uh, was one of his great concerns. And I'm amazed at his prescience to really call attention to these, uh, these things. Another person is Lewis Mumford, who's, I don't think, read uh, anymore, but Mumford to me, uh, if you read Mumford's uh, trilogy on the Pentagon of Power, uh, Mumford saw what was happening as well. And so I think a lot of our intellectuals in, in the 20th century were very troubled by what they saw coming. But what's confronting us right now as a species, without the ethical tools that allow for really serious prescriptive answers, um, we, we're, I think we're, right now, we're, we're, we can, we can possibly completely lose our humanity. Are we